<sighs> Hello, this is my third time starting this video. <laughs> What's up everyone, it's Natalie. I hope you all are doing well. I know that most of the people who watch my videos are my friends at school and right now we're in the middle of finals. So just take a deep breath. Remember that it's all gonna be over soon. Time is the one thing in life that is always guaranteed. So just keep that in mind and carry on. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be giving you some holiday gift ideas for your family or your friends or even for yourself because why not? I asked you all on Instagram if you would want to see this video or another um, outfits video but for the winter time and you guys all said that you wanted to see this video but don't worry the outfits video is still coming I just didn't know which order to do them in huge huge thanks to those of you who replied to my stories asking for some gift ideas because I wanted to really round out the list that I have and just like give you guys something substantial you know so thanks for that i'm pretty happy with the list i compiled and i really think that you guys will be too these items are all gender neutral and versatile and they range pretty widely in terms of price so no matter what your price range is don't worry i have got you also if you see anything that you like in this video or an idea that you want to use um all the products that i'm referencing in this video will be linked in the description so make sure you check that out and also i'm listing some websites that i think are good to just like browse around even if I didn't directly like pick things out from those sites I think they're just good websites to look at okay so let's get started okay so starting off with the first idea um, this is something that's really classic it's timeless I've given and received this gift a whole lot and that is a candle <laughs> I'm laughing because you're probably thinking what the heck a candle is like the most basic and unoriginal gift to give someone but i have some ways that you can spice it up and make it a little bit more interesting and fun so if you look in the google shopping tab and you type in funky candles you will find so many cool candles in like different shapes and colors and there's i'll put some pictures up on the screen of things that i found because i think they're a lot more fun and different and they add as like decor pieces too so it's more than just like a little cylinder sitting on your dresser or something. Also, to make the gift more interesting, you can pair it with an electric lighter. They're very fun and modern and different and you don't have to switch them out as often as you do the other like lighters that have the gas in them. And it's just a little nice addition to the gift. It's pretty classic to give someone a bundle of beauty gifts and self-care items for the holidays like face masks and bath bombs, but here are some things that you may not have thought of. First up are these little face razors. Um, I really like using them. I think I saw them being used on TikTok, honestly. They're super cheap. I found them, I think, at like Walmart or maybe even Amazon, I forget. They come in a usually in packs of like three or five or something. It just kind of like takes away peach fuzz on your face and makes it so much easier to apply your makeup and keeps it all smooth. I don't know, once you start using it, you won't be able to stop, I promise. <laughs> Nail polishes are also a great gift because in my opinion, you can never have too many and it's becoming more popular for guys to wear them. So I think that's a great idea. Microfiber towels are also a really great gift to give because it keeps your hair smooth and soft and it's just like a little nice touch when you shower, like you just put it up and you don't have to worry about a towel being too rough on your hair. Even if the person that you're giving this gift to already has one, they get dirty and ratty, kind of like normal towels eventually. So you can give it to them so that they can keep when it's time to switch out another towel. Self tanner is a nicer gift that you can give someone because it's a little bit more pricey, but who doesn't love to keep a good glow in the winter time? We're not going out in the sun, we're not getting tan. I've used a lot of different kinds of self tanners before, like drugstore brands, like Jergens, like the little mousse that they have, but I've also used more high end products like Saint Tropez mousse and Isle of Paradise. I got both of those 
at Sephora online and I really liked both of them but for different reasons. I know that might be hard to figure out when you're shopping for another person but you really can't go wrong with either product. It's a free self tanner for that person anyway so I don't think they'll be complaining. <laughs> Next up we have claw clips. These are really in trend right now. Um, super popular. I really like the trend. I've been using it a lot. I find that it doesn't like crease my hair when I put it up. Otherwise they're cute. You can get them in tons of different places. Like I got mine in a pack of three from Walmart for like, I don't know, cheap. <laughs> but there are also some stores like on Etsy that sell them in like really cute patterns and colors and designs and everything. This idea was actually given to me from someone on Instagram, so thank you. Silk pillowcases are a really good gift to give. Just like the microfiber towels, they're really good for your hair. It doesn't rough it up so much in your sleeve, and it's also really good for your skin. Last in the beauty slash self-care category are shower steamers. So I didn't really understand these when I first saw them because there's like different types, and some are in like this little like block form, others are a spray. But it's just a really nice way to have an extra special shower. You know, sometimes you just want to like chill and relax. They have essential oils in them that you just breathe in and it's very refreshing. It's just a nice little treat from time to time. If you haven't already heard, the FDA has approved a COVID vaccine, which is super exciting. But I don't think that necessarily means that Zoom will be going anywhere. I think that a lot of employers have found that they can continue having employees work from home and it'll be like a kind of hybrid situation maybe. So here are some things for the meantime that we're still completely on Zoom and working from home and everything, but also for the future if you continue to be working from home. So first up we've got slippers. These are a gift that I don't really feel like I need to explain too much. It's just comfy and cozy. Next up is a sun lamp slash happy lamp. I have one of these in my room and I really like it. It's super bright, gives off a lot of light. I don't have any direct sunlight that comes into my room, so it can be a little bit dark sometimes, but just turning this on floods my room with light, like white light that kind of mimics the sunlight. These are meant to give you more vitamin D and combat seasonal depression. So if you know someone who could use one of these, then that would be great. But yeah, I love lamp. I love desk. Brick, are you just looking at things in the office and saying that you love them? I love lamp. Do you really love the lamp or are you just saying it because you saw it? I love lamp. I love lamp. Staring at a screen all day can be tiring and cause headaches and if you know someone who has these problems then you can get them blue light glasses. These are mine. I ordered them off of Amazon. I don't think I would buy the same ones if I had to do it all over again. I like the look of them but they do feel a little cheap and like plasticky so for something that you use every day I would definitely like invest in some better ones. Again, I've linked some websites that you can look on down below. An essential oil diffuser is another really great gift that you can give someone to make their space feel more comfortable and relaxed. They keep the air in your room moist, um, which is really helpful for your skin and just like so you don't dry out. That's especially helpful in the winter time. And also they just smell really good and refreshing and it just like gives off good energy. So moving away from Zoom specific stuff, we have plants. Plants can sometimes be tricky if you don't know which types of plants are easy to take care of. So I've linked an article that lists a bunch of different kinds of plants that are really easy to take care of and like how much sunlight they need. And all the ones in that list are really low maintenance and so you're not like giving someone a gift that will die in a few weeks. Also something to add to this gift could be a little plant mister. I think this is super cute. It acts as a little decor piece as well and it serves as a reminder to water your plant. I don't know about you but when I have like a regular spray bottle mister I don't like keeping that like up on my desk but then I keep forgetting to water the plant because I don't see the mister I just see the plant. I don't know but it's a nice touch to give your present just like a little more oomph you know. If you want to give someone something a little bit more quality and expensive, you can go for cologne and perfume. Sephora and Ulta are my go-to places for perfumes. They have basically any perfume that you could want and that's out on the market right now. However, I have found a little secret. If you go to Marshalls 
you can find some really nice quality perfumes for like half the price and it's amazing. I got a little bottle of the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume at Ulta for like 60 bucks and it was a treat for myself, whatever. But then I went to Marshalls and was just browsing around the perfumes and I saw a Big Daddy perfume for also $60. So I was like, of course I have to get that. It's a really nice perfume. I like it a lot. I've gotten lots of compliments on it. Marshalls doesn't always have a consistent stock, so you can't like rely on them having certain perfumes. But just going there and keeping your eye out, you really never know what you could find. Jewelry is another fairly common gift that people exchange, and there are so many places to get them at any price. Literally, you can go from like a dollar to a lot. <laughs> However, in my mind, it's super frustrating to buy or receive jewelry that looks good when you first get it, but then you wear it for like not even a day and it just starts turning your fingers green and the color of it rubs off and it just like looks really nasty and you have to get rid of it like five days after you got it. So here are some of my favorite sites that I have shops for jewelry on. I got this ring from is golden and then I got a cartilage hoop for $30 from Missouri. Also a quick piece of advice that I have uh, when you're shopping for jewelry for someone else is just simpler is better. Like don't get anything over the top. And guys, please do not get your girlfriends a necklace with a heart pendant on it that's so overdone. It's kind of tacky. Like. I'm sorry if that was your idea that you had for like this Christmas, but just giving you honest advice, don't do it. Okay, so I know, I know, I know I'm not alone when I tell you that I really like this next gift idea and that idea is puzzles. <laughs> I know it can seem childish and kind of like pointless to do puzzles, but I did a puzzle for the first time in like years last summer and I was obsessed with doing it. I spent hours and hours sitting at the table just listening to music and relaxing. I honestly could compare it to meditation in the way that it just like empties your mind for a little bit and but you're like also doing something. Also it could be a really fun activity to do with someone else. Um, it's really satisfying when you finish it so yeah. Also along the same lines painting sets are a really fun cute creative gift that you can get someone and you get a piece of artwork at the end out of it. And since I know everyone's not born an artist, you can get someone a paint by numbers set. I think that's a really good way to have someone still like paint things and like feel like they're being artistic. But really all the skill that you need is being able to color inside the lines and read numbers. <laughs> Okay, so this next gift is something that is a little bit random, but it is a pill container. This is one that I got from CVS, but there are so many cuter ones nowadays that honestly, I would love if I got it as a gift because this just isn't nice and I keep it out on my desk and so to have it like on display all the time, but for it to also look like this is just kind of like... Mm. So if you know someone that takes meds or vitamins daily, then it could be a really thoughtful gift to give them. So if you end up getting it for yourself or for your friends or whatever, we can all just battle depression in style. So since there was no such thing as COVID-19 last holiday season, or so we think, this particular gift may have slipped your mind if you are thinking about gifts that you have gift or received in the past, and this gift is masks. Every single person that you could possibly be giving a gift to could use a mask. Obviously it's very useful and practical, but you can pick out a mask that fits their style or their personality or involves an inside joke between the two of you, relates to their hobbies, literally anything. Also mask chains are a thing now. I don't know if everyone has seen these. They're almost like the chains that you put on glasses to keep them around your neck. That could be a nice little thing to include with that gift. Say you're shopping for someone who has had a pretty bad year and could just afford to let a little bit of anger out. <laughs> so like all of us. Get them the Burn After Writing book. This is an interactive journal that encourages reflection, which a lot of people like doing during this time of year before the new year, but it also just allows you to get shit out. And then once your loved ones have let it all out, 
you can get them a 2021 planner. I personally love me a good planner and I know I'm not alone in that. So if someone you know uses planners, you can get this for them so they don't have to worry about getting a new one for the next year themselves. This next gift is one that I think has a really sweet and meaningful message behind it to give to friends or relatives that you haven't been able to see in a long time because of COVID. It can act as an encouraging gift to give someone so that they can look ahead to the future and the better times to come when all of this crap is over. And that gift is a disposable camera. I absolutely love, 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 love taking pictures on disposable cameras with my friends and then seeing how they turn out when they develop and giving them out to my friends if it's pictures of them or us or whatever. I think it's really cute. In the description box, I've written out some instructions that you can just copy and add to your gift because I know it can be a little bit tricky to figure out like how to get the pictures developed and like what to do after you've taken all the pictures and how that process kind of works. Um, so you can print that out or write it to your friend so that you don't have to like burden them with all that confusion. It typically costs around $15 to get these pictures developed on top of the actual cost of the camera. So if you wanted to, you could include some cash in the gift as well so that you're not giving them a gift that they have to spend money on out of their own pocket. But that's just optional, of course. I just think it's a considerate touch. The next gift idea is great for someone in your life who is over the age of 21 years old and that gift is alcohol. Of course, there are so many ways that you could go with this, but to make it a little bit extra special, I think that alcohol, like drinking kits are a really good idea. The more exciting and people can try out new alcohols and make new cocktails and they might even get some drinkware out of it. Also, whether you're shopping in person or online for this, make sure that the kit that you get actually comes with alcohol. Some that I've gotten people don't actually come with alcohol. They are just like, things that you can use to mix the cocktails or little like shot glasses. But if you find a kit that you really like and it doesn't come with alcohol, you can always just buy a bottle of liquor or whatever to pair with the gift. Next up, we've got coffee. Similar to drinking kits, you can get people coffee kits that come with a mug or little cookies that you can eat with the coffee and of course the actual coffee itself. This is a really fun gift because you can get someone a different coffee than they usually drink and it's nice to try it out. Like, of course, in the winter time, especially. So fun, very nice. This next gift is another one that's very easy to personalize and ranges super widely in terms of price. And the idea is phone cases. A phone case is a great gift, basically for the reasons that I listed as to why a mask is a great gift. If you have someone in your life whose phone case is just absolutely falling apart or just someone likes to switch out their phone case every while, maybe to like match their outfits or something, then this is a perfect gift for them. Along the same lines, you can get someone AirPods. Cases. <laughs> I mean, if you want to give someone AirPods, then by all means, like, do that and also can we be friends? <laughs> but if your budget is just a little bit lower, then AirPod cases are great. Along the same, same lines, you can get someone an Apple Watch strap. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. I have an Apple Watch that I use pretty regularly. This is the strap that came with it, but it also has this little case that came with this strap that I got on Amazon that I really, really like using. So it's just nice to have something different to wear on different occasions. So you can get a little fancy with it or stick with something simple, but if you know someone and you know which kind of Apple Watch that they have, then this is an awesome gift to give to them. So since I'm a senior in college, in my world right now, a lot of people are graduating or about to graduate. And this means moving to different places, getting their first apartments and things like that. So here are some ideas of like new apartment necessities that you can give to someone for the holidays. You can give them plate sets, mugs, other drinkware, alcoholic drinkware, a coffee press, a doormat, an oven mitt, fruit bowl or flowers in a vase that they can keep and a shark coochie board! I know making cheese boards has been a quarantine hobby for many people and it's only gonna become more popular when people are able to get together and have parties and gatherings and whatnot. So you can give someone the board with cheese and crackers and all that good stuff already on it or just the board. And finally in this category, blankets. 
Who doesn't love blankets? People can always use more blankets. They're comfy, cozy, perfect. Also, weighted blankets specifically are a really good gift idea. I know people really love those for sleep and anxiety and things like that. But otherwise, I don't really feel like I need to explain myself because who doesn't love blankets? Okay, so moving out of the new home necessities kind of category, this gift is a really good idea for somebody who constantly needs to mother things. And also, if this person likes to cook, then that is just perfect. Get this person a grow kit. I've linked one down below that I really liked. It's a good price. Of course, there are others that have different kinds of greens and herbs, so just pick the one that you think is best. We are finally at the last gift in the gift guide, and this gift is just old reliable, and that is gift cards. This is, of course, a great way to make sure that people get what they want, but also this is a really great way to support local businesses right now. If there's a particular bar or restaurant that you and your family or friends go to, you can say, drinks on me when this is all over and we can get back together again. This way you get your friends a little something for the holidays and it opens up the perfect opportunity to spend some time together. So there you guys have it. Honestly, this was a dangerous video to make because I had to think long and hard about gifts that I would want and that was not good for me because I just was online shopping at that point basically and my that's not good for my budget. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching. Remember to check the description box below for all the links to everything that I've shown in this video and to look at the websites that I've linked that I think are really good just to browse and see for yourself what kind of gifts are on there. Of course, remember to like and subscribe. It really means a lot and helps my channel. And let me know in the comments which gifts you end up using from my list or which ones were your favorite or even include some other gift ideas that I might have missed. Who knows if I'll make this video again next year so thank you thank you thank you i love you all i think that's the first time i've said that <laughs> we're getting serious um yeah and that's all love you bye